Good afternoon. So we are heading out on Game Drive again this afternoon. We're probably going to head out to the western side of the reserve, try and see if we can't find that big herd of buffalo that we had this morning and maybe getting lucky with the lions if they are in that area. So this is out on drive, I'm going to show you some of our everyday challenges. So this is our Ivory Lodge signboard and it normally gets broken probably about three times a week. So we've tried to put rocks around it, we've tried to cement the poles into the holes and still this white rhino bull, who is the territorial male of this area, comes along and he still breaks our ivory sign. Yeah, you can see where he's been scraping. So they kind of walk through here, scraping their, their feet on the floor, like that, with the sound. And then they spray urine backwards. And this is all territorial markings for other males to know this is his territory, and also for females to know which male belongs in this area. So this morning we were driving east along the Sabi River and this afternoon we're going to be driving west along the Sabi River. Now the Sabi River, it kind of starts off in, in Leidenburg and it flows all the way down until it joins a, the Kamati River and then flows a big and it's heading into the eastern side of South Africa into the ocean. The Sabi River is around about 200 kilometers long, so it's quite a big river, and it is a permanently flowing river, so it's quite a privilege that we have having this river on our southern side, so we always have water on our property. And if you all can see, but there's a fish eagle sitting on the weir in the Sabi River. So we've just located on another big herd of buffalo and looks like we've just missed the birth of this little one. You can actually see he's still kind of struggling to stand on his legs. His mom has still got quite a bit of her placenta hanging. She's trying to clean the little one to head around and see if we can't get a better view of them. It truly really is incredible how these little calves, when they're born, they can literally stand and walk within minutes. We're just driving along the river. You tend to also find waterbuck. Now, waterbuck, very dependent on water, hence the name. Um, this is a nice big bull. The females were on our left hand side, but they just ran off. Got a nice big giraffe bull. He is pretty close to a nice little pan here. Yeah? Uh, giraffes don't normally drink a lot of water. Um, they can go a few days without water just by eating all these Senegalia trees used to be acacias and they're getting quite a lot of moisture through the leaves that they eat so it might be that this guy has now come to time where he wants to drink there's also no other giraffe around him so giraffes don't really have a specific group structure. We, we kind of call it temporarily associations. So they could join up with others, they could be alone. They're not very fussy about the groups that they're in. Right, 
so the giraffe will be a little bit too comfortable with us being here while he wants to drink. They are pretty vulnerable when they drop their heads down to get to the water and they can't stay down there too long. And I think with our presence here, you can probably double thinking if he wants to drink or not. So we're going to leave him and let him be and make our return back to the buffalo. See if they've come out of that thing. How play fill that little calf is. Yeah, it's cool. Eh? I think you want to try cross the river. Quite a nice size herd of buffalo. Got all the youngsters, all the teenagers here giving us a bit of a stare down. Looks like most of the herd is slowly moving down into the Sabi River. We'll go a bit forward and see if we can't get a good view of where they're going down. Maybe they are drinking water. So with a herd like this, you, you normally get what you call the pathfinders, which is the ones walking in front, kind of deciding where the herd goes when they're moving. So normally a herd is about 60-70% females, cows, and then the rest old bulls, younger bulls. If you don't have one big bull who's going to in charge, it's quite a few and they constantly would fight and compete to see who's going to get mating rights in the herd. You see there's a young bull that just popped out now in the middle. You actually see the the boss, what we call the little helmet in the middle of the head where the cows, they don't have that helmet obviously the males need that helmet when they're fighting for dominance Two spotted hyenas just walking down the road. Looks like they're gonna head towards this herd of buffalo. There was also some hyenas calling in the distance earlier. So we'll turn around and just follow them a little bit. So hyenas have just walked around this herd, got chased a little bit. They now disappearing into the thicket behind these buffalo. Alright, so we'll also be leaving this herd. Most of them are already down in the Sabi River. We're going to be heading kind of north and see if we can't find the, the other herd where we had those lion tracks this morning. Alright, so we've come to an end of our safari this afternoon. We had actually quite a successful drive. I think uh, seeing that baby buffalo, that little calf that was newborn, um, seeing the mom cleaning it, that was pretty cool, and still seeing how it was wobbly on its feet. No luck with lions this afternoon, um, we also saw some cool water buck, um, so yeah, the giraffe was awesome, so we'll go out again in the morning and see what else we can find. Thank you, have a good evening. Good morning. Okay, so we're heading out again this morning, um, it is an awesome morning, you can feel the change in seasons is coming it's upon us, it is a bit chilly this morning, and obviously me, didn't bring a jacket, but it's fine. We're in the bush and we're tough. So we're going to be heading out uh, straight north and we'll see what we can find. We've already got some zebras in the road here close to the lodge. And we're just waiting for them to move out of the road and then we'll keep on going. So yesterday we were with that giraffe bull. Um, now we've just found a female. Female giraffe. She's just crossed the road in front of us. She is staring constantly in, into that direction um, there might be more is there oh, okay cool so there's more coming she said another few females just off to our left 
it's quite cool like females and males don't really have competition so there's a bit of a height difference in them i think it's around about just under a meter that the males can get taller than the females um, and that's why they don't really compete for food because they'll feed off different levels of the trees you can see how she's using that long tail as a fly swat oh, swapping the flies away morning so we have found some more leopard tracks as you can see the male leopard has walked straight down the road here just going to show you guys what we are looking at see so you are looking at the three lobes at the back so one two three lobes at the back the lobe in the front and then four toes normally with leopards uh, and lions you won't see claw marks so got retractable claws so when they're walking casually on the road <clears throat> then they'll pull their claws back in but when they're ready to hunt and then you'll you'll see how they push the claws back out again so we're just going to follow the road and and see if we can't get lucky and find this leopard right, so we've just heard some alarm calls from waterbuck down by the river so we're just going to do a small little walk down if we can't see anything and we'll keep you updated all right so we, we did a little walk down to the river couldn't see anything we just got quite a few hippos here it's a nice little pot <laughs> hippos and pretty nice that they've just made their call this is show you we are at quite a safe area we're pretty high up and it's very st steep little bank so we won't be able to climb out here you can actually see the pathway we call them hippo pathways just there where they'll probably go out to go and graze When you're down on fruit, obviously you need to take a few things in consideration. Um, obviously animals don't like us being on foot, um, so you would really like to see the animal before it sees you. And you always want to leave a sighting in such a way that the animal never knew that you were there. So walking into the area we're going in now, with all these vultures in the trees, could, could be that there might be predators on a kill, lion, leopard, could be hyenas, could just be vultures roosting in the trees because it's overcast, windy and cold and um, they normally like flying when it's hot and they use thermals to go up in, into the air so let's go see what, what's there um, but first thing we do when we're down on foot is check the wind to see which direction it is blowing in which is pretty much straight in that direction which is good because that means we're walking into the wind so whatever is there would not smell us coming okay, here we go Okay, so we are getting closer to the area where all these vultures are. Nothing as yet, we just stop for a few minutes just to listen. If we can't hear bones crushing, growling, any signs that there's something around, alarm calls from birds. So we'll keep on walking, see if there's anything. Alright, so we've come across the horns of an impala ram and um, it's lying right over here so that's a good sign it's still fresh you can actually still see some blood and stuff on on the top part of the skull of the impala the vultures probably just finished it off um, could be a leopard that killed it in the area hyena stole it from it could be the wild dogs we had a big pack of wild dogs in the area they might have killed it and the vultures have just kind of finished it off so we're going to be doing a drive around and see if we can't find anything or tracks of what could have potentially been in the area but quite cool that we found this but they obviously finished it off so the vultures were just resting in the trees waiting for it to warm up cool
got a nice harem of zebra. So zebra in a group like this, also call them a dazzle of zebra. It's grazing along. So we've just kind of coming to an end of our morning drive. We had a very cool drive this morning. Black rhino, giraffe, zebra, warthogs, and finding that leftovers of that impala carcass. So yeah, we we'll hope to see you guys soon.